2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A well-dressed group of Timberwolves as they made their way to the locker room. They love playing in front of their walkers home crowd. So the next starting five, Duran is out there with Harris. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Griffin. And it's Harden, and it's the two-guard spot. And for the Timberwolves, they've got Towns. D'Angelo Russell out there with Beasley. Then there's Edwards. And it's Vanderbilt in at the power four. It'll be the Nets off the tip. Irving against Russell. Irving with it. Pass to Durant. It's stolen by Edwards. Here's Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. Oh, man, how good is he at turning on the Jets and getting to that next level? D'Angelo Russell, fearless, driving on the interior. Here's Harden, and he slams it down right on top of Carl Anthony Towns. And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. Harden just put the other team on notice. Towns, the best to Edwards. And now the fast break, Irving with the ball. Here's KD, and then Durant with the jam. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stop. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Griffin, no one around him. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Woohoo, Kyrie Irving doing work with the pass. That's pretty. Harden against Edwards. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. A nice shot by Griffin. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. And it's oh, 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 it in. Oh. Wow, the size and speed of Towns, a natural born highlight reel. It's tipped. Towns with the steal. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three point play chance here for him. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Minnesota shooting their first foul shot of the night. Well, a seven-footer who's got guard-like skills, who can shoot the lights out. Carl Anthony Towns is a problem, guys. Out of bounds. Next ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. And now, let's give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. D'Angelo Russell fourth, and of course, Anthony Edwards. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. Jumps up, and the slam dunk by Russell. Well, the quickness of D'Angelo Russell in transition really puts pressure on the defense. Irving against Russell. Irving dishes to Griffin. And the rejection by Towns. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Towns. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face, physical high energy plays like that one. The Nets making a switch here. Jordan, he's checked in for Griffin. Nicholas Claxton comes in for Kevin Durant. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Joe Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Edwards, and Edwards with the stuff. Well, the more repetition he gets, the more floor awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved. Nets trail by four. First quarter of play, we're at three minutes in. Has to Dinwiddie. Brown wide open. He fires. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. 
141 left here in the opening quarter. And Towns gets it to go. Towns has got seven. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Dinwiddie up top. He's guarded by Russell. And Edwards with a clear path to the basket. And finished off by Edwards. That is not possible. What we just, <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thanks. Yeah, the Nets head coach and I were able to chat. I asked him what more he could say to his team at this point. He told me it was easy to come up with a pregame speech. Everyone expects those guys to close us out now, he said. The pressure is transferred over to them to meet those expectations. I want us to play fast and loose tonight, not worrying about mistakes as much as just trying to get our groove back. We'll see if that strategy helps them get back and avoid the final sweep, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Here's Dinwiddie. Passes it to Claxton. Back to Dinwiddie. On the wing, Brown. Edwards defending. Brown kicks to Dinwiddie. Just five to shoot. It's good from long range. Seven points in the game. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Seven second difference. Shot in game clock. And it's Towns penetrating. Good and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got four assists in the game. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the bank. Harden. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And you talk about the best ball handlers in the league. Don't forget about James Harden. And Towns throws it down. And this game already taking shape as an offensive battle. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. Dinwiddie outside. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Dinwiddie's got nine. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Harden. Part of why they, he creates so many opportunities for others. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. Of course, I'm playing off the ball is something that I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable doing. Like, I'm, a, I'm able to catch and shoot. I'm able to, to play off, you know, on the wings. Giving their offense another dynamic. And it also helps him preserve some energy for those big moments in the big game. And it's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. And let's quickly break down the game we're watching with the Timberwolves, guys. Well, you, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. So for Brooklyn now, DeAndre Jordan is out there with Durant. Then there's Hills. Then there's Irving. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two guard. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Noel's checked in. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for the Nets. Well, really good aggressiveness by Rubio. A key we talk about getting to the free throw line. The Timberwolves have gone one for one making their previous attempt at the line. First one falls for him. Now, this is one of the most talked about international players ever. And I think Rubio just needs to stay healthy and keep working on that shot. So one for two that time at the strike. Nets trail by four. Irving passes to Dinwiddie. Boom, he jams it straight down. Go into the rack with energy, and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. The free throw drops for Towns. 
in town drops them both. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. They get a hand on it, stolen by Rubio. And here we go, fast break. Towns has got it. Out to the right wing. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's his first trip to the line. Free throw good, Edwards. He's perfect from the line this time. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three-point shooters in the playoffs. D'Angelo Russell fourth, and of course, Anthony Edwards. And the bright lights of these playoffs have done wonders for each of their three-point shooting. That's what they were both hoping for. Here's Dinwiddie. Here's Griffin. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Griffin's got seven points. And you see the good and bad. There, defensively, nice contest, but only after Griffin gets the ball where he wants it. Here's Rubio. Off target with his three. Nets trailed by four. In transition, here come the Nets. Here's Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. And that speed and athleticism of Griffin, a lethal combination when he's on the break. The drive by Rubio. Yep, that one goes in there. Rubio's got six points in the quarter. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Irving against Edwards. Here's Harris, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Harris has got his first basket of the night. Well, you put it away inside. Harris known for his distance shooting, but you love to see him willing to get inside and make easy ones. Here's Rubio. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Well, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for the Nets. Both free throws good from Rubio. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Now Irving. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The wide open look for Durant. And the Nets, another three. Boy, the quick release of Kevin Durant and the release point so high, you really can't get a good contest on him. Here's Rubio. He kicks it to Edwards. He's got ball. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. 12 points for him. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye open. Ball's not loose. Fast break, Minnesota. Here's Noel. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. And this is what happens when you let Griffin establish position. He will make you pay. And the basket by Rubio. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Irving with it. Guarded now by Rubio. Read the pass to Rubio. Finish off the break. And it's an eight-point Minnesota lead. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Timeout called the Nets. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. Both teams will make substitutions. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Brooklyn. And uh, 101 left to play here in the second quarter. 
And now the Timberwolves on the break. Russell's running, and the slam dunk by Russell. D'Angelo Russell rises up and drops the hammer. 50 seconds left in the first half of the game. Harden against it. And now with the fast break, Rubio with the ball. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Running it down their throats. Three straight baskets there in transition. Irving passes to Jordan. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half. The shot's good from Irving. What a pretty look. DeAndre Jordan, to have that kind of touch on your pass is such a quality piece for a big man. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. It's Harden with the drive, and it's Harden slamming it down. And once Harden has momentum behind him, watch out. They love seeing the beard flush it down there with some power. And he's good on the three ball. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves looking at a 13. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal. For the Timberwolves, they're already up 3-0 in the series and now trying to make it a clean sweep. And that's all we have for now. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. Ricky Rubio has been sensational. What a menace he was on defense through the first two quarters just disrupting everything. Well, it was about effort and anticipation. Hard to get into an offensive rhythm when you know this guy is lurking. We've got Russell. Also, Malik Beasley out there. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Ricky Rubio. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four slot. So that's the Timberwolves five. That shot wide open. Irving's got five now. Oh, no defense right there for that shot from Irving. Released so quick, especially off the pass. Beasley for three, and again, Minnesota with the triple. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And the basket by Harden. And one of the most creative scores the league has to offer. Harden specializes in sinking those tough shots. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And here we go, Towns heading to the hoop, and Towns throws it down. There's such confidence and belief and faith in his offensive arsenal that Carl Anthony Towns makes it look easy on that end. Up top, Griffin. And finished off by Griffin. Well, anyone looking for highlights? Because you just found one. How about the creativity there in the air? Here's Rubio. And another three for Minnesota. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Russell passes to Vanderbilt. Oh, what a dunk! Out below! Well, when active and engaged on the defensive end, you can see what D'Angelo Russell is capable of. Timeout called the Nets. Timeout. Timeout. Daniels is checked in for the Timberwolves. Dinwiddie is checked in for Brooklyn. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Harden inside the three-point line. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Great play calling, great execution. Leads to four for four to start this half. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference and points in the paint between the two teams. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Harris. 
And down it goes. Dunked through off a wonderful assist. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. And Towns gets it to go. Well, so effective with that jump shot. Carl Anthony Towns is a problem on the offensive end. Dinwiddie against Russell. And the pass to Durant. From deep Harden. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Here's Russell. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. They are just killing him on the interior. Nets trail by 17. Now here's Durant. Five points in the game. And the Nets, another three. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Kicks it to McDaniels. But three. Hands it from downtown. McDaniels got himself on the board with three there. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Inside, Jordan. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his third assist on the night. We've got 108 left to play here in the third. Russell from long range. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. And it's Harden with the ball for Brooklyn. They trail by 18. Beasley with a clean look. And another three for Minnesota. Their third three-pointer in a row. The Nets have gone an unbelievable eight of eight shooting since after. Must have been some kind of pep talk in that locker room. Here's Jordan. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. Well, that's interesting. Out in space, the defender challenging DeAndre Jordan's shot. Makes some contact, but it doesn't bother him. Russell dishes to Towns, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. I am simply blown away by his accuracy. He has made every shot, and what's most important, his team is winning. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Reed's checked in, and it's Edwards in for McDaniels. The Nets also changing it up. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin. Brown comes in for Kevin Durant. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for James Harden. Russell against Irving. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Guys, just incredible concentration from the crafty guard. D'Angelo Russell, tough to stop. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. And to me, the ceiling that D'Angelo Russell has is really high. This guy is dynamic. He's confident. He can score it. And he's just going to continue to want to prove himself. Irving for three. And the Nets, another three. Uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. And we'll be back with you shortly. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Oh! <laughs> he 
is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. That's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Well, I think it kills your energy, and it certainly kills your momentum. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for the Nets. Durant comes in for Nicholas Claxton. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face, physical, high energy plays like that. And the slam dunk by Russell. And this is what D'Angelo Russell does out here, right? He's a dynamic scorer who doesn't lack for confidence. Irving against Russell. Let's it fly from 18. And that one's good, Irving. And not sure what you can do with a guy like that. With his handles, he, he can just take defenders to school. And it's Beasley finishing it off. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Well, that's how you drive your point home right there. Count it. Irving's got four points in the quarter. I love that Kyrie Irving doesn't settle for something on the perimeter. He goes right to the cup. Here's Edwards. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. You know, we talk all the time about how important it is to have bigs who can stretch the floor. An example there. And the slam dunk by Russell. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Here's KD. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Well, you respect the jump shooting, so you close tight, and Kevin Durant gets off on the dribble drive. Here's Russell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. You know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. So both teams changing it up here. And so Russell hits them both. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Knocked loose. For Brooklyn, they've gone a perfect four of four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Johnson gets the bucket. Tyler Johnson's always best when he's playing within himself. You have to understand, hey, I'm here to facilitate. Russell fires away from way outside. Another miss by Minnesota. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Tries again, and Davis sends it back. And they get it back. Johnson gets the bucket. Minnesota's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And the slam dunk by Russell. Yeah, we've seen that a few times today, guys. I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And another steal for him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Here's Noel. That three off the mark. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And wow, that's the end of an epic journey taken by both these teams in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA title rings ready, folks, for the Timberwolves. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for D'Angelo Russell. This guy has been shot-making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. 
And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. Minnesota making a switch here. Rubio's checked in, and a change for the Nets. Claxton's checked in. Brooklyn's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Here's Johnson, and the shot is good. So effective, so strong. Get to your spot. Tyler Johnson gives you so much on the offensive end. And here's Hernan Gomez outside. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. Rubio looking around. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Convincing lead with very little time remaining. And the fans are pumped. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Shamit up top. And they've done it for new NBA champions. And all you can say is congratulations. They have done it. A lot of relief right now. The emotions swelling up from all the weight being lifted and winning it all. Wow. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer.